Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, there's a nice story for you to get your day going, and it was quite, <laughs> quite hilarious. I just smile and shake my head at how hard science and scientists and experts work at not acknowledging the Word of God or letting anything that points to the Bible actually make it to mainstream with, you know, approval. A geneticist has been dismissed from his job over his absurd claim suggesting humans used to live for 900 years, but their longevity has been reduced owing to the crimes of their ancestors. Does that sound <clears throat> like anything you know? Dr. Alexander Kudryavtsev held a position as the director of the Russian Academy of Sciences Vavilov Institute of General Genetics, but he was fired for his beliefs. At a symposium, he is said to have contended that the universe was created by God, but decayed owing to human sin. He stunned his audience by adding that sin is responsible for mutations in genetic disorders that afflict modern humans. I want to emphasize the harmful influence of so-called bad habits, what theologians call sin. They also affect the genome. If a mutation occurs in your body, in your gametes, it will be passed on to your offspring and nothing can be done about it. The conclusion is simple. If you want to have healthy offspring, don't develop bad habits. Don't fall into sin. The academic was quoted as saying these things and then promptly fired for being absurd was where he came up with this information. The interesting point though is, Methuselah, 969 years. Noah, 950 years. Adam, 930 years. Enosh, 905 years. And then we go down. Shem, 600 years. And of course, the guy we really relate to, Enoch, 365 years. He's absolutely correct. And the numbers have come down drastically. But mankind did once live well over 900 years. And now that man is out of balance with God, we see what we see around us. And still, mankind doesn't want to listen to God. And mankind pushes against acknowledging God and even fires their own experts when they acknowledge God or try to acknowledge the root cause of what's happening here. The answer is simple. The answer has always been Jesus. Shalom.